Hi, my name is Nathaniel Hoover. I'm a staff writer for GameCola.net, and this is a video review slash walkthrough slash show-off video of Mega Man 2, complete with open captioning for the seeing impaired. In the year of 2000X, a super robot named Mega Man was created. Dr. Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. The end. Yes, folks, it's a beautiful story, one of the thickest plots you'll see in any Mega Man game, and here, as we ascend the tallest tower in the city, the one that surely violates all sorts of zoning conventions, we have Mega Man! Standing there with his helmet off, in desperate need of a haircut, this is a true hero. There are two difficulty settings, normal and difficult, but really, there's only one. Mega Man 2 has a wonderful new feature. It's a password system, that's right. So now, if you need to stop playing Mega Man, I can't imagine why, you can come back exactly where you left off. And then there's the stage select screen. This time, instead of six master robots to fight, you've got eight. And you can choose them in any order you'd like. That's right, you can go to Air Man first, or Metal Man, or... Heat Man? Heat Man? Surely this guy didn't read a walkthrough. You don't go to Heat Man stage first. I mean, it's got lava and heat, man. Okay, well, so far it's just a lot of running and gunning. It's not that bad, right? Just keep on moving. Sure, that works. That's a great strategy to get through here. Nope, not a single chance you're going to slip up and fall into a burning, burning pit of death. Nope, not at all. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but, man, that was really slick. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, with enough practice, you too can be almost as awesome as I am. Now, these enemies that are zipping back and forth on the platforms, you may recall from the original Mega Man, except they're upgraded instead of uh, shooting them and freezing them in place. Now, if you shoot them with most of your weapons, the shots will just deflect right off, and they'll zip at you and come up and spring back and forth. It's a little obnoxious. And, oh, hey, disappearing bricks. I remember these guys. Yep, they're back in force. These walls here that you uh, can shoot at, um, you can actually destroy with Crash Man's weapon, which will allow you to blow a hole straight through them, and you can just keep running. Don't need to worry about timing your jumps and avoiding the tellies that are coming out of the woodwork here. Well, I don't have Crash Man's weapon, so I need to do it the hard way. Why did I come here first? Oh, yeah, that's why. The disappearing brick challenge of doom. Mm -hmm. This is one of the trickiest parts of Mega Man 2, because you've got the disappearing bricks that you need to memorize their patterns, and if you make one false step, or if you don't anticipate the jump properly, or whatever happens, you go falling into a pit of one-hit kills. This is not so fun, and it takes a lot of practice. Now that extra life over there, don't be fooled. Like Admiral Akbar says, it's a trap. Yep, if you try and go for it, chances are good that you're not going to be able to make your way out. Most people like to come here after fighting Airman, so they have the jet sled utility that allows them to fly over top of the entire thing and bypass everything. Well, I don't have it. I wasn't going to do it. I wanted to just hop, 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 and prove to you that, yeah, you can actually do it without. Still, I wouldn't recommend trying to tackle Heat Man first. Well, actually, I wouldn't recommend trying to tackle Heat Man at all. I mean, he's hot. Well, anyhow, so that first volley of fire that Heat Man launches at you, I can guarantee you anybody who's ever played Mega Man 2 the first time they played got hit by that. And most people probably continue to get hit by it. Well, if you can time your jump right, do a short little hop, you can avoid it. And after that, Heat Man is a pushover. You just keep your distance, keep on him with your weapon, and he'll fall pretty quickly. Now, if you've got Bubble Man's weapon, that's great, because Bubble Man's weapon does a lot more damage to him. And this actually makes sense, because Bubble Man is a water enemy, and water puts out fire. And it seems that Plasma Blaster puts out fire just as well. Perfect kill on Heat Man, beautiful run through the stage, didn't even get hit! Truly, there is no possible way I can beat this performance and I'm spent. Good night, everybody, thanks for watching my video of Mega Man 2. I'm Nathaniel Hoover, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time! <laughs> nah, I'm just joshing you, I'll play through the rest of the game. Hey, it's a message from Dr. Light. Oh, come on, singing telegram! Aw, oh, shucks. Okay, item one completed. What's item one? Get your weapons ready! Get your weapons ready? Wait, is item one going to attack me? Dr. Light, I thought we were friends! 
No, the descriptively titled Item 1 is a uh, useful utility, which I'll talk about later. And this is the password screen, in case you wanted to know what the password looks like. It's dots. You see, I'm getting all three of the utility items in order. Item 1, which is a levitating platform from Heatman. Item 2, from Airman, which is a jet sled. And Item 3, a wall-walking platform from Flashman. Now, normally I'd avoid going to Airman stage until later for a video like this, but, um, because everybody goes to him first or second, but I guess you'd just have to settle for me showing off without any... Okay, fine, I got what I deserve. But, uh, showing off by jumping on the pixels on the edge of the heads of these air keys instead of waiting for their spikes to retract, like everybody else does. It's, a, it's probably the, one of the toughest uh, tricks you can do in this game, aside from not getting hit or not missing a shot, one of those absurd things. Well, I would have preferred to have come in here with some more special weapons to spice things up a bit, because if you've played Mega Man 2, you probably went to Airman stage with few or no special weapons. And if you've seen videos of it before, most people would probably go to it pretty early on. That's because Airman stage, well, it really isn't all that difficult by comparison to some of the other stages in here. Plus, his weapon and item 2 are extremely useful to have. But... There's not that much challenge in this stage after you get accustomed to the the couple of slightly tricky parts. I mean, like these birds dropping eggs. Birds dropping eggs do not inspire fear in the hearts of your enemies. It's not that bad. But there are clouds. They could have done more with this. They could have hidden a pit somewhere in there. But no, just pleasant little clouds obscuring your view of the perfectly, completely there platform. Yeah, I, I got a little sick of uh, putting my life at risk here, so I decided to play it safe and do this the normal way. Now, there are gremlins popping out of the Air Tiki's ears. I really don't know where Dr. Wily gets the inspiration for some of these robots. This here is a compound challenge. First, falling from the sky, you have the... Ow! Oh, okay, pain of birds! Um, and you've got these um, fan fiends blowing at you, trying to uh, push you off the edge. So it's a little bit of a challenge, possibly the hardest part of the stage. But like everything else in the Mega Man series, you practice enough and you get through it. I'm using Heatman's weapon here just because it's fun. It's got uh, three levels of charges. Uh, Nintendo Power says Cook, Burn, and Scorch, which I like. Um, and the longer you charge it up, the uh, bigger the shot, the more weapons energy you take, and the more damage you do. And Airman time! Airman blows air at you, and it can be very difficult to dodge. Um, that hop is, you know, again, lots of practice. But you tend to get hit a lot when you fight Airman, but it's okay. Because if you just keep shooting at him, even if you're standing still, you've got a pretty good chance of taking him down. I mean, look at this. Boom. Goodbye. He's not terribly difficult. This is why it's a good choice to start with Airman. And teleport up into the clouds. I happen to think that Airman's weapon is extremely useful, it's good in a lot of different situations, and it does a lot of damage to certain enemies that other weapons barely touch. And now it's time for a word from our sponsor, a uh, message from Dr. Light. <coughs> Mega Man, it's past your bedtime. Come home, go to sleep. No, really. Item 2 is completed. Item 1 is cool because you shoot it out and you hop on these platforms that take you up higher. And item 2 is neat because it fires a jet sled you can ride on across long gaps, spike floors, zombie mosh pits, whatever. Well, our video is almost up, but it's time for Flashman, who holds the keys to item 3, and we'll be back in a flash. Come on, back in a flash? Ah. Uh -huh.